Well, I have more than 12 years experience in IT sphere and 10 years I have been working at Instinctools. I started my career as a junior developer, grew to a lead developer in about five years. Then I had a choice uh, either to continue my technical direction or to become a project manager and I decided better to be an excellent manager than just a good developer. So and day by day I'm trying to achieve this goal and achieve an excellence. Uh, right now I'm a head of a project management department uh, at Instinctals in a company that has already 18 years of great experience in development IT software projects. Well, you know, each process which has certain um, objectives has to be managed. And in project management there are a lot of functions and things which a project manager has to be focused on, like people, processes, uh, team velocity, risks, collaboration, and communication, and so on and so on. Depending on the situation, the project manager can play a different role on the project. He can be project mentor, project coordinator, um, the scrum master, facilitator, um, delivery manager, product manager. It's extremely important um, to have a project manager um, and a project to mitigate risks and uh, to provide the maximum value to our customers. Project manager unites team um, and align the team to a project goals. Project manager working with a team motivation, solving problems related to communication issues, and working with customers' risk and an overall responsible for final result of a project. So first of all, I. I would like to say not difficult, but um, interesting cases and situations because each difficulty is a challenge for us and possibility to grow our experience and professional level. Of course, I had some interesting cases um, and I tried to, to solve them the best way I could. So one story uh, comes in my mind uh, related with developer, very experienced guy and high qualified specialist but he had some problems with communication skills and especially his English level. Um, I think it's a common case uh, when developers, uh, when project manager has to convince uh, developers to, to speak because usually um, developers more about coding, less about speaking. We had a customer from USA, he needed such experienced and professional specialist like this developer and I decided to, to bring him with me uh, in a business trip to USA. He had to be in a speaking English country more than one month and it was a huge challenge for him because of his lack of English level. So when we came back, uh, the first thing, thing he did, so he started to attend uh, to English lessons. Just in a two months he worked hard and he significantly improved his English skill. So as a result our customer got a lead developer with good communication skills uh, and developer himself uh, got uh, a level up for his professional roadmap. We have two main cases here. Uh, first case when uh, software development lifecycle is organized on, uh, on our side and we are developing the product uh, internally from start to finish. Second case when uh, software development uh, is organized on uh, customer side. Despite that customer might have his own project manager, I have to admit that it's important to have a on-site PM or proxy PM here locally. He's a representer of a customer interests here. Um, he certainly could help 
customer reduce his costs and um, time for managing the execution process by the team. On-site PM feels the team knows their cultural features and uh, he can mitigate risks related with misunderstanding, miscommunication and uh, problem with uh, exceeding customers' expectations. I advise not to be afraid to make your dreams come true and we will certainly help you with it. Our experienced team will cope with any project easily. I personally may assure you that the project management process will provide it to you on a very high level. A lot is expected from us, we deliver more. <laughs>